<laughs> Growing up, I always felt a little bit different. I knew that I was a really big geek and I got made fun of a lot. So when I figured out I was gay, I was really scared to kind of like have to come out with that. I didn't feel like I belonged in either of the, the two spectrums and I really felt like there was something wrong with me and it wasn't until I went to college and I discovered GayGamer.net I realized that there's actually other queer geeks out there who kind of felt the same way. And we decided to do like a one day gay gamer meetup. More and more I was like people really want to have this community and the group went from 10 people to 100 people to 1,000 people. Ended up becoming this big giant 2,000 person three day event. GamerX, a convention for LGBT gamers celebrating and elevating queer content. By creating GamerX and having these different kind of events, people can go to those events and know like, okay, cool, if this is my crowd, I'm safe here, I can be myself. And I think that's really important to get to that next level of dialogue. It's really for the kids who are growing up. They can see that there's thousands of other people who go to this gay gaming event. They would just see that and be like, okay, well, it's not weird. There's leaders in that field. There's people who are like me in that field, and I can do it too. I always grew up wanting to be a video game developer, and I always assumed that I couldn't do it because I was gay, and that there wasn't a place for me in the industry. But because I live in America, there is. Be able to be in the field that I love and be openly queer, you know, I don't have to hide that. That's something I can actually be proud about and, and, and share. For a lot of people, they can feel very isolated. Their religion or their country or whatever is telling them that who they are is not correct. I think it's important that people first find that there are other people who feel like them. And I think as you start to build that community and you realize there's other people who want the same world that you do, you can work together. It's very easy for groups that are, are being discriminated against to turn around and discriminate against others. Queer geeks, queer jocks, trans geeks, minority gays, their culture doesn't necessarily respect them. And that's part of the reason why I was like adamant about fighting you know, this battle. I don't just work towards my place in, in society being more equal without fighting for those who are having even tougher time. I wanted to keep the, the fight going. <laughs>